Welcome to my channel, it's your girl OJ Abade. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by. And if you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to the OJ fam. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you get notified each time I have a new upload. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Without any further ado, let's dive in. So today's video is basically about my hair. As you can see, my hair is in a mess. I'm not wearing makeup because after this video, I'm actually going to film a makeup tutorial. So this is basically about my hair, what I do, how I style my hair if I'm in a hurry and my hair is in a mess and I need to put it in place before stepping out. So if you like to see this video, please keep on watching. What I'll be needing is for my spray bottle water filled with water and also my counter leave-in conditioner which I'm already running out. I'll also be needing my cones for detangling my hair, my hard bristle brush and my edges brush. I'll also be needing this hair clip just in case I want to section my hair and my Mali hair and this is in noble. I have extra just in case I'll need more than this. I'll also be needing the hair gel and this is Gorilla's Knot hair gel for my edges and my hair grease as well. I would also be needing my Coco Africa hair oil for my edges as well. So I tried combing my hair dry but it wasn't combing at all. So I went in with a generous amount of water from my spray bottle just to make sure my hair is well hydrated. And after that I went in with my counter leave-in conditioner and worked my way from the ends down to the root because the ends is where I, my hair was really really tangled and I really wanted it to have more concentration and after that I massaged it into my hair and then went in with my Sofo 8 plus on my scalp I have the dried scalp condition so I like working the Sofo 8 into the scalp to probably treat it or something Instead, massaging my hair with my hands to make sure all the products get into my hair, and then went in with the hair wonder hair grease. This is just for to seal in the moisture that the water and the leave-in conditioner had already given to my hair. And I went in with it as a sealant just to massage my hair and make sure all products are in place. I find that the more I do this, the better results I get. So I went in with my Coco Africa hair oil for my edges. I really don't have this whole full edges, so I try to maintain my edges using this Coco Africa, which is a combination of the different oils. So it helps my edges to stay strong. Yeah, this is just me trying to finger the tango, just trying to see how soft my hair is already. As you can see, my hair is easier to comb compared to the first time I tried combing it dried. So I just combed my hair, but you can section your hair with hair clips and comb it. It will be easier. I was in a hurry, so I just had to do this. But I'm basically just trying to comb my hair with my white toothed comb. I prefer the echo gel but I've run out of that so that's why I use this so you can use any gel that is suitable for your natural hair I'm just working it around the perimeters of my hair especially the front that's my edges and then went in with my hard bristle brush just to make sure it glides in with my hair and it's seamless and as sleek as possible after that I went in with my hair grease a little bit on the strand of my Mali hair and then placed that Mali hair in the front of my hair and crossed it at the back, just crossed it that time and then held the two ends and tried to pull it to the place where I wanted my hair bone to be. I was literally struggling with this because my hands were slippery so if you want to get an easier and better result you have to make sure your hand is dried off all the products you applied on your hair after getting my desired bun i tried wrapping the excess strand of my mali hair 
around my hair i didn't even tie it at all so if you want to knot it is fine but i just wanted to carry this hair for a day so i didn't need to do that this is just me trying to arrange my bun make sure it is out and it's puffy as possible i don't know if that makes sense yeah so that's what i'm doing trying to wrap the excess around my hair until i can't see it anymore yeah i'm just trying to mess around with my bun and i went in with a comb my white to take comb to spread it because i want it really spread it so this is the hair i actually got from combing and everything i've done to the hair so far after that i tried laying down my edges using my gorilla snot gel by the way this gel dries fast so you want to style your hair fast before it gets so dried so i didn't get that super slick finish at the back of my hair but i'm going to fix that in due time so i went in with my hair scarf to fix the back of the hair that i didn't get a slick finish i just tried to secure this scarf to avoid loosening while i walk my way around my hair then to continue i went in with four strands of mali hair and tried to wrap it around my hair yeah i'm not tying it i'm basically just trying to secure the end and then wrap the excess around my natural hair bond that i had already done so i went in again with six strands of the mali hair this time working in reverse motion on the previous bond i had already done and making sure this one crosses on top of that bun to make sure all my natural hair is covered with the mali hair after securing the end i went ahead to try to mess around with the bond and make sure it's in the perfect shape and size that i want you could go in with more and more mali hair till you get your desired bun but this is my hair all done just going to take up the scarf and wear my makeup just so you see how beautiful it is this is my hair all done thank you guys for watching tell me what you think about this look in the comment section let me know if you like it and if you would love to rock it this is my go-to hair hairstyle you would always see me going about with this hair most of the time so thank you all for watching please make sure you subscribe like and share this video with your loved ones i'll see you in my next video bye